Hello everyone, and welcome to today's Open Heavens Reflections. The Open Heavens Reflections are based on the Open Heavens Devotional, written by the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboye. My name is Akinola Shoroye, and by the grace of God, I pastor the Redeemed Christian Church of God Victory Center in Southeast London. Our topic for reflection today is, is your love for God proven? Is your love for God proven? And our Bible passage is taken from the book of 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 7 and 8. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I've kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. And not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. Memory verse is 1 John chapter 4, verse 8. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. Our reflections for today. Let me start by asking you some questions. What does the word love mean to you? More importantly, what does it mean to you with respect? What does it mean to you with respect to God, our Father in heaven? Do you love God? As a Christian, I'm sure you're shouting, of course, I love God. How do you express your love to God? What actions do you take in your daily life to show your love for our Father? Many people say they love God, but do they really show God their love? The reason God created us to begin with was for His pleasure. According to Revelation chapter 4, verse 11, that is the meaning of life. That is the meaning of life. So what does that mean exactly? What does God want from us? He wants our love. He wants your love. Matthew 22, verses 36 to 38 says, Teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? And Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. And this is the first and great commandment, that we're, we're to love God with everything in us, heart, soul, and mind. Loving God means not trying to compartmentalize your life into sections with your God section being separated from all the others, but rather giving Him control of every aspect of your life, your work, your play, your family, your money, your dreams and ambitions, whatever. In 1 John chapter 5, verse 3, the Bible says, loving God means keeping His commandments, and His commandments are not burdensome. Also in John chapter 14, verses 23 and 24, it says the same thing, that Jesus replied, all who love me will do what I say. My Father will love them, and we will come and make our home with each of them. In verse 24, it says, anyone who doesn't love me will not obey me. And remember, my words are not my own, and what, I, what I'm telling you is from the Father who sent me. Now, this scripture is not saying that you can earn God's love for, I mean, by you obeying Him. God's love is not earned. And what I'm talking about is that we show our love for God by obeying Him. Philippians chapter 2 verse 13 says, For God is working in you giving you the desire and the power to do what pleases Him. And it would be nice if you can make that your prayer request, your prayer point, asking God to help you to want to obey Him, and then you going ahead to actually doing it. Our key point for today, God establish, establishes your love for Him through the small and the big tests you face. As you face those tests of life, there is a way that God uses those tests to establish your love for Him. May God bless you. Until I come your way again, for now, goodbye. And have a nice day.